hoping it's something now. Look at that Royal Enfield. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. So we've arrived. Okay. Namaste, bye, Sab. <laughs> this is our first place. First stop. It's called Royal Ghetto. The Royal okay. Ghetto. There is a tomb of King and King family. Of Jaipur. Made, uh, after Jaipur. Okay. There is a tomb of King and King family made by marble and metal. Okay. okay. There is a three part called second third. Okay. Third part is a more beautiful. Mm -hmm. it's okay. Entry fees is a fifty rupee for each person. So go inside and take your time and we'll be here. Okay, you're waiting for us. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay, seems like a nice guy, very happy. And uh, looks like the fort is up there, where we'll be going later. Hopefully we don't have to go like up there. <laughs> but here we are, the, the tomb site of the king and queen, did he say? Of, uh, king and of the, family. the king and the king's family in Jaipur. It's very nice. Namaste ji. Akeseho? Acha. Well, it is very nice. Look at that. All the intricate works on the banister and the balcony. So there's three tombs here. This is number one, this is number two, and this is number three. I'm guessing the middle one is for the king himself. And then maybe his wife and his other wife, his other wife, <laughs> <laughs> or children, or I don't know. But it's very beautiful, surrounded by the hills of Jaipur on both sides. Are these beautiful? Um, yeah. I haven't eaten anything yet. Kind of like woke up in a hurry because we're up late last night watching football because it starts at midnight here. And we won. And we did again. win again. Two two times Newcastle have played while we've been in India. We won 6 1 and 4 1. So we're going to have to stay in India, that's what it means. <laughs> just doing the, like, the cause for the greater good. So it just goes on and on this, like absolutely beautiful etched out of stone and then cured in the sandy winds of Rajasthan over the years. The sun has tainted it and all sorts of really intricate artwork. Let's have a look inside. This is his cupboard where he kept his bottles of water and his coconut and his, uh, coconut and his uh, um, dog, spray. Dog, dog and cow spray. I don't know what are you spraying cows and dogs for, but look at this. How beautiful is that? Just love the colour that it's like gained over the years. I can see a mountain goat. You probably can't see it on the GoPro because it's sort of wide angle, but there are a couple of goats just walking up the rocks over there. This is nice. Well, I do apologize. I don't know a lot about what exactly we're looking at here. Obviously, apart from the fact that it's the tomb <laughs> site of the, of the royal family of, of Jaipur from 500 years ago, which maybe that's all there is to know about. There's not really any like big information signs or anything, which is fine. Um, but I'm here to show you around and just show you like a few little things and then if you like something then you can go, oh well we'll go to Jaipur so we can see that, you know. Look at these uh, elephants sort of, I don't know, they're like going head to head or are they just completely symmetrical? Whoa, so. Yeah, this is very nice. Um, Beautiful stone carvings, you've got white ones, you've got sandstone ones, you've got some darker coloured ones over there, 
etchings on the floor and uh, behind here is his, is his body this is marble as you can see with the veins running through it but yeah if you want like more informative types of videos in India much better than I could ever do then you need to watch Gabriel Traveller on YouTube because he's the number one vlogger of all time in my opinion <laughs> okay Namaste ji Aap kaise ho? Acha. Egg uh, coconut and egg chai. Thank you. Small water, only eat. Oh, you want? So want that? Yes. Okay. Acha. I can see your chai. Oh, very nice. Oh, he's making fresh. That's great. Well, kind of fresh. He has already his pre-made masala. Special masala. Yeah. Secret masala. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll not show them. <laughs> What's this one? Yes. This one is a uh, tea. So some tea and sugar. Oh, it's very sweet chai. I love it. <coughs> More secret recipes. What's this one? Masala. Masala. So. Masala here is just like spice, general spices, and it changes depending on where you go. He has his own special masala, which is secret to everybody, nobody can know. <laughs> and then it's just gonna brew away like that. Very nice. I'm gonna stop hitting my head on this. <laughs> but yeah, and then uh, the coconut only has a small amount of water, and then yeah, I just did it again. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna attack my chilies and metal. I think he'll open it better than that time we tried to open that coconut at home. Yeah, I like about half a day. <laughs> <laughs> Just jamming at it with a knife. <laughs> and you get it in these like one use clay pots, which is very cool. Look at that. It's like freshly kilned, I think that's the word, kilned clay pots for the ultimate chai experience here at the tomb of the king of Jaipur and his family. Don't forget his family. Not the queen though. There's a nice cow down there, just waiting. And he's gonna drain it out. Okay. Got to swirl it to the right uh, consistency first, and then you'll raise it very high and let it just crash into that cup. Here we go. Very nice. Banyavaji. And here we go. We have beautiful chai outside of the fort. What more could you ask for than this, eh? so fragrant ah, the masala has like cardamom in it and it has um, um, a few other things like it's not just like sort of spiced it has like if you know what I mean like a cooling taste to it like like almost minty but it's not mint if you know what I mean it has like this sort of like nice refreshing cool and aftertaste I think ginger. ginger that'll be it I'm not very good at describing things but has a similar sensation to mint, but it'll be ginger. And he's making the coconut. Try that, very nice chai. That is nice, but I don't like the texture of the cup. You don't like the texture of the cup? <laughs> no. It's like, it's like drinking out of bricks. <laughs> like when you pull your lips away from it, it's like you take half, half of like a council estate with you. <laughs> you've made, you've made us. Made you've made us think about it now. <laughs> you got a special coconut tool. This is the way to do it. It weakens the outer shell before it gives it its kill and blow and breaks the, uh, the shell open. Because the smaller ones are uh, much harder to open than the big ones. Because the big ones, they just kind of cut off the end and then jab a hole with a knife. So they are young coconuts. Yeah. And this is an 
Yeah. This is an old coconut. You can see because it's got hair. Yeah, and they look like sloths. Just, once you've seen it, you won't be able to see that. Especially the ones you get in the shops which have like three this little holes like on it. Those like raggy dogs with like loads of hair over their eyes and this is their nose. <laughs> oh look at that, so he's revealed the uh, inner shell now. Very efficient. Obviously, uh, he's done this for a long time. How many years have you been here? Gee, should have How many years have you been here? Five years? Ten years? Both five years and ten years. I like it. Stop stealing me chai because you, you, you don't like the texture. Namaste, bhai sab. Ab kaise ho? Acha. Gora Hindi samajhta hu. Gora Hindi samajhta. That's it. Yeah, one shot of coconut water. That's all the vitamins you need for the day. Ooh, party time. <laughs> Doing shots here in this ancient heritage site. The rest of the coconut is just coming away now. Ah, you see, what I mean is, it's actually on the inner shell. It has them like two eyes and the mouth. Yeah, so it's, actually, it's not on this bit, yeah, it's on, the, it's on the inner shell. Here we go. Sabadas. The chai. That was delightful. I don't know what to do with the cup because like as far as I've seen you just kind of like throw it away which is it's a shame I don't think it'll last very long I don't think it'll keep it's not cure it like you know when you do like squeeze it probably but I don't want to do that because then I get like brick cuts in my hand <laughs> but yeah like they just throw these away and like I don't know how long it takes to make them or whatever but it feels like a shame but Whatever, we throw lots of things away in India. It's just how it is. We're not here to change it, we're just here to spectate. And the man was saying there's currently a rubbish. Like a yeah. Rubbish picking up strike. The bin men are on strike. There's a water boy, water man, I guess. Oh, he missed. Look at all that, you're gonna get a whole load of snacks. And then he. Puts in a bag for you so you can chomp it away, chomp, <laughs> chomp on it as we go to our next stop. Oh, well, I think they might be inedible now. <laughs> so I'm sorry you won't be enjoying your coconuts. <laughs> oh well, it was nice to see him make it feel bad. Maybe our friend will have them. Our, uh, our driver, maybe he'll have them because uh, he can drink that water, but we definitely can't. <laughs> We've got a train to catch tomorrow. We've got a train to get tomorrow. The last thing we need is, is food poisoning. That would just be terrible. I'm going to the water, guys. I'm going to get the water. Good enough, sir? 80. 80. Okay. That's 80 pence for the chai and the whole coconut. Mm, oh, no. Oh, it's because we hundreds still in the uh, yeah. in the book. Acha, you can Just uh, 400. Danibad. On this? We just, here? We just throw it in there like that. And that's the end of it. Okay, let's return to our driver with gifts of a coconut. No waste. Namaste, G. I'm Kissy here. Hello. Hello. 20 rupees. <laughs> We've made some uh, friends. But uh, you, you have to eat the coconut. <laughs> the coconut. Uh, ah. You have to eat it. <laughs> because. Uh, he, he covered it in water. Yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, we can't uh, drink the water. 
Oh, hang on. Here, this yeah. is for you now. Yeah, so this is all yours now. <laughs> it's a uh, fuel for the journey. Fuel for you. Yeah, he like made the coconut and like broke it all, cut it all, everything. And then he, he put it in the bag and then just emptied loads of water on it. <laughs> was like, what a shame. Obviously, like that's probably refreshing if you can drink the water or whatever. But uh, I yeah. never wash my coconut. No, like I think it's already concealed in its own armor, isn't it? But uh, well, just like that water over there, it's just kind of collected from rain and from uh, the general tap water system and things like that. So yeah, just again, it was like the same at the night market the other day. You know, like we went to buy an ice cream. And then he decided he would just dip the ice cream in a bucket full of water. And so we had to just say no. But it is a shame, but uh, you know, it's better than having food poisoning than just saying no to somebody. Um, okay, so we're on to our next stop. That was a very fun time. And uh, we'll see what else is in store. Maybe the cows will like the Yeah, look at all these cows. Nandi the bull. No. It's beautiful city walls here. Look at them all. And we've arrived at Amber Fort. There's lots and lots of Gundas around here, lots of scammers, lots of hustlers. The Jeep Mafia are here, where they do something to do with the Jeep. I'm not sure what exactly it is. They ask you if you want to go up in a Jeep, but to be honest, that doesn't look very far, does it? it I don't. Takes Ten minutes. 185 steps. That's like less than what we do to get to our seat at the match. <laughs> but like. The thing is, I don't know where they would drive the jeep. Yeah. They're driving the, the jeep here? <laughs> ah. Well, the last thing you want to do is get into a jeep with a strange man and go up a back street. <laughs> I might have to come back. Okay, well... Um, yeah, the driver seems very nice. Like, seems uh, very genuine. He, like, briefed us about all of the scams that were about to happen and then as soon as we arrived they all happened <laughs> so that's pretty good and he he uh, told us what to say and then they left us alone straight away so obviously the tuk tuk driver can't go no they don't want a jeep yeah yeah for you so they kind of say if you don't want a jeep you've got to be the one to say no i don't want a yeah. jeep yeah so like when the jeep jeep mafia come then the tuk tuk driver says to us do you want to go in a jeep? And then we say, no. And then the... A bit winking on the side. <laughs> like, yeah. Do you... Wow, this is a big I'm... tail. Yeah. I don't want to be careful of your tail, wise man. It's a very nice tail. Wow, well, he's just uh, enjoying something. I can't tell what it is. Oh. It's got a <laughs> He's got a sore bottom. Well, onwards and upwards. Is that an elephant? An elephant, what? Oh, I hope it's not an elephant. I think it is. I've seen them in other videos of people oh. in Amberfort. Well, um... But I've never did seen an elephant before. No, I don't think this is the most, uh, <laughs> you know, genuine way to see an elephant, guys. So, sorry if uh, these, these images that you might be about to see as we climb up these steps to see these Elephants uh, all dressed up in the heat of the day and, and ridden on uh, up and down these 185 steps. Yeah, well, like I say, we are here to, to spectate and to see what life is like here. Why we have no power tickets? to change. You buy the tickets when you're up there? Oh, when you're up there. Yeah. There's a toilet there. Yeah. Do you but, want um, a mango drink? A mango drink? Yeah. If it's cold, I'll, I'll have it. That would be nice. Do they have cold drinks? They've got lots of cold drinks. I'll have the... Like they have the mango, but they have the cold one. Yeah, I'll have the Minute Maid Orange. Namaste, Ji. Aqui se ho? Acha. I have a Minute Maid Orange. Huh. And, uh... Can I have... 
this Fanta here is an apple. And uh, Fanta, apple? Apple. Huh. Uh, no. Oh. So, so yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Huh. I get no pesa. Forty-five. Forty-five. Oh, I haven't had a deal with fives yet. Okay, there's fifty. Acha. Okay, Daniba. Right. So that was fifty p. <laughs> okay. Um, well, we start the hike now. This has brought back some very good uh, memories. Even though I haven't been here, my favourite <laughs> video on the internet is where Gabriel Traveller gets chased by a goat up these steps. <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. I've got some poppy orange. Have you seen this? Fanta Apple Delight. Fanta Apple Delight. I've never seen. Well, taste apple it. Let's see Fanta. how. We, what's your opinions on the Indian Apple Fanta? It's nice, it's like a um, less tangy appetizer. Is everything here like all the Fantas and stuff like very syrupy and sugary? Yeah, they're like a lot more like sweet. Uh, like an orange Fanta back home is quite tangy. I see. The orange Fanta is quite like really sweet. Well, there you have it. From the fizzy drinks expert. <laughs> I myself, a non-carbonated drink enjoyer. I only review this Minute Maid orange, but uh, I'm not able to open it. <laughs> Namaste, Ji. How are you? How are you? I'm not sure what he's saying. Maybe he's not speaking Hindi. Mm. That's nice. Well, the views are uh, getting there already. Let's have a little look here. You can see the town just continues to sprawl even beyond this point here. And then part of the fort is like a moat where it's dried up towards that side of it. Sorry to point with my orange juice. It's and then there's some steps up there, which I've heard if you come here at sunset, that if you go up them steps and sort of chill out around the top there, the sun sets behind, either behind the fort and it leaves a beautiful sky, or the orange sun illuminates the sandstone walls in like a lovely thick warm orange haze. So if you're here in the afternoon, and you've got the legs for it, then it might be worth attempting them stairs. That looks like the Great Wall of China over there. Elephant. Okay, there is an elephant. I'll tell you what, this is what I will say, right? If you're like some sort of American or European, Australian or whatever tourist coming here, 185 steps and you're deciding to get on top in like some sort of basket on top of an elephant which is wrapped in silk garments you're a dickhead that's what i'll say grow up ah oh, look at them all bunch of whoppers stood there sat there on top of a little basket thinking of the kings of jaipur with a stupid hat on thinking oh this is it we're we're in the third world now we're riding elephants up boats oh. anyway i'm sorry that's the end of the negativity one piece is 20. Okay, I gift it to you for free. <laughs> okay. Very good price, sir. Goodbye, man. Alright. So I'm guessing they're driving the jeeps up here, yeah? And then they're parking it like somewhere around here. It's just not very far. Have we it? already done the 185 steps or what? It's more just like an incline walk now. It's like being back in Newcastle. 
wish somebody drove me to the top of the Kotor mountain. Umbrella? <laughs> 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 Look at these whoppers on that elephant up there, man. Two young, thin lads sitting on top of an elephant. And you know what the thing is as well is that um, elephants absorb a lot of sound through their feet. So right. it's not good for them to be in high busy places. Ah uh, right. Well because obviously they're not natural to wear uh, forts <laughs> in the fourth, fifth biggest city in India. They like to be in the plains where there's nice trees and open places to roam. But anyway we're almost here looks like we just need to go up to that point over there and then zigzag up there and that's the ticket office got a motorbike coming up so we're here in the uh Grand Plaza at the centre at the beginning of Amber Fort. So far, it's very nice. Namaste, ji. How are you? Acha. How are you? Sudes. Sudes. I work here like a tour guide. <laughs> ah. If nee. you need guide, we are here by the government. Ah. It will take around one hour. Nee no problem. No problem. Do you have tickets? Uh, tickets if you don't have, tickets in those days. Ah. Acha. Thank you. Need guide, I'm here. Okay. If you don't need, no problem. Okay. But if you take guide, okay. nice. Nice. So we're going for the ticket now. Oh, we got everyone's having a chai time. Yeah. Foreign tourists. So it's 500 rupees. You are a student? No, no, no. You buy it. Okay. Namaste, Ji. Do foreign. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, that's it. That's our ticket. So, let's go out here. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. It's funny when they go, it's no problem if you don't want it. And then they're like, and then ask you like 10 times more. Well, I hope the fort isn't that one because then I really underestimated the uh, climb. <laughs> but, uh, well, I'm guessing this isn't it. So. Get back out Let's there. find where the actual thing is. There was a whole herd of people coming from uh, the other way over here. So let's see if we can go on this epic mission just to find the entrance. But I'm before. Like maybe it's, it's, oh, maybe it's like up there. More more whoppers going out on the elephants. It's a uh, very cool. So, Right, so here we are. In India, everybody poses for the pictures. They have to be like a movie star. Yeah, nobody like just takes like a picture smiling like, like this, you know? <laughs> Everyone's like... Everyone's very serious in the pictures here. It's the culture. Oh, look how beautiful this is, isn't it? Slightly warped in time. The, you can't really see it, but parts of the building are like warping in the heat and the weight and the whatever. This is this one. Danyabar. I beeped. There's my camera. Okay, so I'll keep this ticket safe. And look at this. Wow. That is beautiful. I absolutely love that tiled mosaic work I know this is a completely different culture but I'm absolutely obsessed with Moorish and uh, Castilian Spanish 
tile work and mosaics and this is obviously a similar concept but much 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 older some sort of Indian wedding shoot there it's got like a director of photography making sure you get all the right angles it's very very peaceful around here it's funny because like the chaos of outside of the fort just kind of makes it like very calm in here so as long as you can battle the touts to get into here you'll find it be very peaceful lots of shaded areas and because we're so high up there's a big breeze coming through here there we go Got more whoppers, seen that two whoppers there, two whoppers there. Oh, there's another solo whopper over there. Look at that. Whoa. Those people will go home and go, oh, I had the most wonderful time in India. I rode an elephant. It was so spiritual. <laughs> yeah. The most spiritual experience in Amber Fort. I was riding an elephant and he wanted to carry me up the <laughs> stairs. He didn't want me to burden the steps alone. I felt him call him. That's literally what they, they go on like in Surrey, South England. Oh, that's a bit mean. <laughs> well, look, there's people inside there. So there's obviously, well, I think if we go there, but we're, we end up just ruining everybody's nice photos that they paid lots of money for with the expensive cameras and glide cams and all that sort of stuff but this is very beautiful it's well worth the five pounds oh yes i think so if you live like some form of active life then you'll well, have no you problem don't get in your car everywhere yeah if you like wake up go down go like out of your house and get in a car and drive to work then you probably have a problem uh, getting up these stairs but Otherwise, it doesn't require an actual active level of fitness, just some sort of general health, I guess. Thank you for you to take my Well, you cue and I'm going to read about Ganesh. Ganesh Paul, the Ganesh Gate, provides access to the private and inner parts of the palace. It's covered with frescoes. So that's what these are. These are frescoes. Interesting. That means fresh in Spanish without the E there. Anyway. It was constructed on the order of the Murta Raja Jai Singh. So this was constructed in 1621, which is, um, what's that like? 403 years, 402 years ago. Lord Ganesh, the deity who is believed removes obstructions, which we know because I've talked you about this in the previous videos. See, I'm doing well as an educator in, in Hinduism. His likeness therefore traditionally painted or placed over the main entry to a building. Okay. So it means that when you enter the building, you'll not have any obstructions or any problems. So let's enter the building and see what's inside. Well, we're inside. It's lovely and cool in here. See out into the gardens there. So this is the dining hall. The ruler and his family, the members and guests dined in the uh, Bojanshala. It was considered propitious to recall to mind the family deities at important places of pilgrimage before consuming the meal. What does propitious mean? I don't know what propitious means. Oh. I'll have to have a look at that. <laughs> yeah. I guess an old doorway. So, so nothing now. And here's the Sukhmandia. This is where the royal families were living in the midday summer season so this is like a cool place and um, obviously it's it is quite interesting but it's also cool in temperature because of the light marble and uh, it's shade multiple different levels of shade from the heat oh yeah this is uh, very beautiful the gardens water feature so all of this on the market for just 10 million rupees. <laughs> you see yourself living here 500 years ago? Very, very nice.
a nice quiet corner of the fort where you can just hear like the light drums, the birds tweeting, some people going about their lives in the houses over there. There's a mountain goat walking along the steep cliffs of the mountains. There's people chanting over here. What a magical place this is guys. Look at all these streets and like it's like a proper ancient city. It's like something you see on um, Aladdin. Aladdin or um, what's that one where he's uh, it's like the, the film is like the guy's name he's an explorer and he goes looking for like jewels and caves and stuff Indiana Jones Indiana Jones you know like it's like it's like this like look at these walls man like so many stories imagine that the lives and people that walked on these streets 402 years ago in the same bacon heat looking at the same mountain it's not like, you know, where like at home where everything around you has completely changed since them times. It's just like they would have lived there, walking around here, walking up and down these alleys and been looking at the same walls and the same weather, same surroundings, same birds. Just really, really amazing. recommend that before. I've like worn my fancy dress today. I've all the things on my back and it seems like every girl's wearing a fancy dress and I just don't Yeah. Well you fit in at least. <laughs> yeah but that makes me fit in and I know I've decided that I've just seen the most backpacker items available to me. <laughs> this is all we travel with by the way, just these backpacks. Like we don't have anything else. This is what we came with. And then I just like empty my stuff in the hostel and just take out this. I empty my stuff and then I don't bring my bag, it's yeah. just everywhere. <laughs> I'm the bag, I'm like the elephant for the whoppers on the on the steps. Are you calling me a whopper? Yeah, and I'm an elephant. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's over here. Can you see anything? Oh, that was nice. Look at this view. Any more whoppers we can point out? No. Well, just the whoppers that are like cane and the poor things. Anyway, I'm sorry. I, I said I, I wouldn't. Know that poor man whose job is to pick up elephant poo all day. Are Which poor man? Just down there. There's a man who's got to go and do. Oh, no way. <laughs> this is a guy who's just sweeping it up with not a dustpan and brush, but just two dustpans. <laughs> But I tell you what is nice, all right. Just so I can juxtaposition this, I know the GoPro's rubbish for things like this. But just down there, this whole thing here, right? You got the water all the way there, all the way goes all the way, here, and then it 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 ends and it beaches upon green pastures of endless grass buffet for these cows, all these black cows there and bulls, and they're just enjoying this beautiful field. And I can see there's four of them who are just completely submerged, lying down in the water, cooling off. So that is nice, isn't it? Um I guess it could be, unless there's maybe they do a show or something like that. But yeah, so there's a happy animal story in case I was uh bringing the mood down too much. They treat all animals with the same. Yeah. You know, see, as I've explained, the reason the cows and the bulls are having a luxurious life there is because the cow and the bull, specifically the bull, is the most sacred creature in Hinduism in India. As you know, I love these. These are just absolutely, they make any doorway better. Okay, we're going to keep exploring and we'll see what else it has in store for us. This is a good trip so far. I've enjoyed our time with Shiroz. Shir Shir Firoz. Um, yeah, and so it's all going all going well so far. And I'll let you know anything else interesting comes up. Well, we're leaving the fort now. Seems like there's some sort of music going on. I'm guessing this one. Yeah, nice. They're playing some traditional. Some traditional.
traditional Indian music, I guess. I wonder how similar it was to the music that was played in these ancient streets all them years ago. Oh yeah, I'd recommend Amber Fort. Obviously, there's lots of lots of touts, lots of bustlers, lots of sellers, but it is very beautiful. And once you get into the fort, it is really quiet. It's peaceful. Lots of shaded areas. Just a nice place to come and enjoy the views. And uh, and make sure you point out the the whoppers and the elephants when you come here. Okay. So. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching this video where we had chai and we had coconuts and uh, we had a nice tuk tuk drive through the cities and uh, arrived here at Amber Fort. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.